Good morning, everybody. It is the morning of October 1st, opening day of archery season here in New York. And if you're wondering if I got any sleep last night, I didn't. I couldn't sleep. I'm so amped up about this morning. I'm, I'm super excited. I think that, uh, you know, HLV is extremely killable. I've got him pretty well pinned down as to what this deer is doing. Uh, I think I'm going to be in the chips. Obviously, uh, there's a lot of things that have to go my way still. We've got a wind out of the northeast, which works out pretty decent for where I'm going to be. I'm going to be set. Uh, set I'm going to be sitting in the uh, portable shanty, and what I like about that situation is the fact that I can lock my scent in there. I can close all those windows. I can get away with a lot more movement in there. You know, my, my scent is gonna be kind of locked in. There's two separate scrapes that HOB's been hammering. There's one that's like 25 yards right in front of the shanty. It's on a trail that's coming up out of the creek bottom. He's been feeding down on the neighbors on the creek bottom and he's been bedding up on ours right next to the bean field. He has been feeding in the beans a little bit, but uh, most of his time on ours is just going up there to bed. And where I'm going to be is kind of trying to cut him off from, you know, him uh, feeding down the creek bottom and coming back up to bed. He's bedding right on the edge of our field. And uh, he's been using this trail. So I took and uh, got a bug flying around on my camera there, but I took and created a, a mock scrape using Wyoming County whitetail buck urine right on that trail coming up. And HLB has been on that scrape during daylight, early, early in the morning, numerous times. He's been there a few times in the afternoon as well. But uh, he's been like clockwork, uh, pretty regularly doing the same thing. So that's why I'm pretty confident that I'm going to get eyes on him, uh, at least get some good footage of him this morning. I'm excited. Uh, I know I'm only a few days away from him. Uh, you know, changing that pattern and getting into his fall pattern where he really is kind of unpredictable. But right now I think he's predictable. So that's why I'm so excited about it. Uh, fingers crossed, he comes up through there and checks, you know, one of the two scrapes. The other scrape is actually right on the edge of our field. And he's been hitting that scrape a lot during daylight, uh, right at first thing in the morning or first thing in the evening, I've got daylight of him on that scrape. So one of the issues that I foresee is getting in there this morning is all the deer. There's just so many deer packed into this, this, you know, this block of woods that it's going to be hard for me to get in there clean without bumping deer. And that's my worry is that when I go down there this morning is that I'm going to be bumping deer back into the creek bottom and that's where HLB is going to be coming up from. So that's why I'm getting in there super early. It's still going to be like an hour before it gets light. And that's my goal is getting in there early before those deer get back up into the pines, uh, you know, next to our field to bed. So fingers crossed, we get, uh, get some eyes on HLB this morning. I'm super excited that, you know, the, the hunting season is back and we're going to be chasing HLB as a four and a half year old, you know, mature deer. I'm excited. I can't wait. So let's get our stuff around and head down there.
been absolutely surrounded by deer since the second I got in here this morning. I uh, bumped some deer off the green bean field and there were some big does in there and they just stuck around right in here off the edge of the field stomping and snoring and blowing and just driving me absolutely nuts. And this one big doe just kept walking up here and pacing and stomping and blowing because she could smell me but she couldn't figure out where I was and I couldn't take it anymore. I had absolutely no intentions of shooting a doe down here this morning. I wanted to be really kind of in and out of here, you know, without being intrusive whatsoever, but you know, if a doe blows at you probably 40 times and stomps 100, it's time to shoot her. I couldn't take it, so she got to about 35, 37, between 35 and 40 yards, and I shot her. The good news is I think I heart shot her. She, it looked like she crashed right by the, uh, what we call our fire escape, right by the base of it, so I'll be able to get her, get her out of here without you know, being intrusive whatsoever, but man, you know, a big mature buck like HLB is not going to be coming around when you've got big does snorting and carrying on like that all morning, so kind of a disaster from the start with, you know, these big does picking me out. There's one less big doe picking me out though, that's for sure.
finally got a little bit of a lull in the action. Figured we could run down and we could track my doe down and drag her back up here. It's going to get pretty warm today, so I want to get her taken care of. I think it'll be a quick tracking job. I think she's down right over here. So, we'll see how that uh, Grim Reaper did on her. Well, this is where she was standing. Right here. Got some blood. Shot her right from window right there. The arrow blew right through and is sticking right over here. Got lots of good blood on it. She took off running right down toward our fire escape. She didn't run very far at all. That's kind of where I thought I saw her crashing was right in front of the fire escape. The shanty is right there. That was the entrance and the exit was right there. We'll call Kaylee for backup with a gator to get this out of here. Hello? Hey, could you bring the gator down? Yeah, where do you want me to go? You go in behind the barn and you go all the way over to uh, the edge of our property line with Briggs's. On the cornfield side? Uh, or I mean the bean field? Yeah, you come right up the edge of the beans. Okay, and are you at like... I'm, I'm in the, the first trail that goes to the fire escape. Okay. Okay? Bye. Yep. Thanks. Yep, bye. bye. Well, Kaylee's on her way. We'll get this dough out of here and get her cut up because it's going to be pretty warm today so we're going to get her cut up right when we get home. I'm waiting for Kaylee to come down from the barn up there but uh, for everybody that was wondering I'm shooting the Matthews V3X. I got this from Ravelin Hill Archery down there and they got it all set up for me and shoots absolutely awesome. I'm going to put you know all the info in the uh, description of this video below as well as the info to Ravelin Hill if you guys are interested in checking checking them out for a new bow. And then this is my new uh, whitetail hunting tied wee uh, coat and my tied wee backpack for carrying all my gear. Stuff works pretty darn good. Here's some honkers flying. They are flying in the pitch black this morning with that full moon. Sounds like they're going into the cornfield over there. Here comes Kaylee. Good service. It's chai. 
All right. When we get back to the house, I'm going to need you to cut this up quick, okay? Take your bra. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my goodness. What? Yeah, What'd you get? Just a dough. Aww, He's got that on dough. camera though. Yeah. <laughs> I do. <laughs> well don't be broadcasting that. You don't want that on YouTube? I was landscaping and I took oh, my bra now off the last story night goes and I had a piece of grass that long in there. Like it's been bothering me all night long and I couldn't see the You couldn't find there. anybody to itch it for you? Well him? no, I had to do it myself. Oh my god. Well, I took my pants off to go to the toilet and something fell out of my pants and I went to pick it up and it looked like a piece of bacon. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Just a little crown, but it wasn't. It was like a dried up leaf. I was not trying to. Oh my god, you guys are scary. How have I got bacon in my pants? <laughs> Yeah, it's fresh heart. I just pulled it out of the wow. deer, so Grandpa would probably like that. Oh, Did you see us last night? <laughs> Cliff, you can cook that. Okay. okay. It says, boil it for a long period of time. Did you actually look at it? Yeah. Did you put any salt and pepper sure on it? You did, right? Yep. No it's salt. Like, I just put don't pepper. Don't we usually cover them or no? So. Yeah. Grandma used to. It's below the stove top. The cover. So we'll put it up a little high, Becky, just to get it rolling. Yeah. That'll do it. Grandpa will be so happy to have that deer heart along with this nice, wonderful pies. You do good work. Thank you. You guys are coming back today, right? Yep, we'll be here. Hell yeah, after seeing that. Yeah. We'll see you in a little bit, Grandma. We'll be okay. back. Very good. Very good. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up from opening day. It was an awesome opening day other than the fact uh, nothing went quite as planned this morning, if that makes any sense. That doe just was driving me crazy and uh, had to, I had to get rid of her. Uh, I, know, I know that HLB was not going to be coming up there to bed when she was carrying on up there like that, so I decided to take her out and made a great shot. Backstraps. You know, in the freezer and the heart in the belly. The heart was really good. Uh, we we made that today for lunch, and it was uh, fantastic. But I wanted to mention to you guys, we've got some brand new shirts. I'm wearing one right now. This is our uh, KEO whitetail shirt. This is on the website. We've got new hats, some other designs on the shirts too. So just go to the website, uh, scroll through, and check them all out. We've got all kinds of stuff. Uh, if you guys are interested, it's a great way to help support the channel. If you guys enjoy uh, watching our videos, uh, we'll be back after them shortly. Thanks, everybody. I hope you guys had a good opening day as well. Take it easy.